Hello everyone, welcome to the biology tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about the lymph nodes. Lymph nodes, they are present in the lymphatic vessel. Lymphatic vessel, it is made from the lymphatic capillaries. This tiny capillaries will make the larger units which is known as the lymphatic vessels. And along the way, different nodes are present. They may be of different size. Some of are so small of the size, some may be of the almond size. This is about the position of the lymph nodes. This lymph nodes, they are present all over the body, almost in every part of the body. Like they are present in the necks, in the hands, in the legs, and in the trunk. Here the lymph will flow from the one nodes to the another. Now, this is the overview of the lymphatic system. This is hot. From the hot, the blood is pumped away by the artery to the different parts of the body. The artery will divide into the smaller branches, arterioles. Again, arterioles will divide into the branches, which is known as the capillaries. And capillaries have the two ends. One is arterial end and next one is the venous end. And from these capillaries, the fluid is being leaked. 20 liters of the fluid is leaked into the tissue space, which is known as the interstitial space. And from the space, this fluid will move to the cell. The cell will take the nutrients, which is required for their growth and development. Again, the fluid will come back from the cell, which is taken up by the venous end. And looking here, 20 liters of the fluid it is leaked by the capillaries and only 17 liters of the fluid it will come back in the venous end so the 3 liters of the fluid is it is remains in the tissue space which is known as the tissue fluid interstitial fluid it is taken up by the lymphatic system it is taken up by the lymphatic capillaries where we call it the lymph and this lymph will go from the here to here that is unidirectional it will move upward it will move to the heart this lymph will move from one node to the another node and from another node to the another node in this way this is unidirectional and today we are going to talk about this lymph nodes in the detail okay let's think why this lymph node is important in the lymphatic system it is because there is the presence of macrophage and there is the presence of lymphocytes T cell and the B cell. Macrophage, it will engulf the microbes, it will engulf the foreign particles by the process which is known as the phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is the process of eating, it's the process of engulfing or swallowing the microbes. Here, the microbes will, when it enters the macrophage, it will cut down, it will chop it down into the smaller fragments and the microbes will be killed. And similarly, inside the lymph nodes, the activation of the T cell and B cell its multiplication will occur and our immune system will respond to it. As a result, antibodies will be produced and so that our body will be protected from the foreign invaders. The main purpose of the lymph to enter inside the lymph node is the filtration before it is passed to the circulation now here we will talk about the structure lymph will enter inside the lymph nodes by the afferent lymph vessel where the lymph will go outside of the lymph node from the efferent lymph vessel you can be confused which one is afferent which one is efferent so you can use the simple one trick that is e for efferent e for escape or e for exit which means going outside. These afferent lymph vessels are present in more numbers. The lymph can go from the anywhere, from this way, from this way, or this way. They can enter into the lymph node, but they will go outside just only through the one way that is, inferred lymph vessel. Talking about the structure of the lymph node, in outer covering, there is present presence of capsule that is c for capsule c for cover you can remember in this way too 
this capsule is made from the fibrous tissue and in the middle layer that is medulla you can remember m for middle m for medulla now let's see what will happen when the lymph enters into the lymph node when the lymph enters into the lymph node there is the presence of bulb it will prevent the backflow this lymph uh, when it enters the lymph node it will move to the soft capsular sinuses sinuses are the species it is actually a channel where the fluid will move from the soft capsular sinuses it will move to the smaller sinuses and from the smaller sinuses it will move in the middle medulla that is in the middle part and this structure is trabeculi this trabeculi is the it is the capsule that is going deeper inside you can remember just like t for tunnel t for trabeculi just like the tunnel it is the capsule is going deeper and deeper inside this is trabeculi and its main function is for making the partition partition is making the separate rooms suppose in a house when there is wall then we can make different types of room if there is no wall then it will just be an empty space like this way this trabeculi helps in making the compartments and this one is follicles with the germinal center this is all about the structure of the lymph node now let's see about the function of the lymph node first function is filtration of the lymph inside the lymph the foreign invaders like the microbes may be present and so our body they have developed a mechanism by which we can kill the microbes and our body can be protected so for filtering the lymph different types of checkpoints are present like the way when we go to the airport our packages our bags are checked in such a way in such a manner the lymph nodes are present in all over the body the only purpose is to filter the lymph next one is in the lymph if particulate materials are present then the lymph node checkers the particular materials may be microbes dead and live phagocytes in the live phagocytes there can be the ingested microbes similarly inside the lymph the cells from malignant tumors can be present worn out and damaged tissue cells may be present and inhaled particles may be present similarly the organic materials which is present in the lymph it is destroyed in the lymph node by the macrophages looking to the next condition sometimes the inorganic inhaled particles they cannot be destroyed by the phagocytosis our macrophages they cannot destroy that particle they cannot kill the particle what will happen they can destroy the particle it will remain inside the macrophages causing no damage or killing the cell the lymph will pass from the one node to another node that is from one point to the another point one point to the another point it will move all over the body and finally into the subclavian veins all the lymph will be empty into the subclavian vein and from the subclavian vein it will go into the heart and again heart to the circulation finally lymph is free from the cell debris and the foreign matter the main purpose of the lymph node and it is here this lymph node if lymph node is not present in the body then there will not be any checkpoint where the filtration can occur the microbes may be present there will not be any defense mechanism so the microbes may enter into the blood circulation as a result bacteremia septicemia can occur the microbes may move from one part to the other part of the body in the blood circulations so the ultimate goal of the lymphatic system is the remo removal of the microbes and foreign invaders but incomplete phagocytosis may also occur in some condition in such case there is the inflammation of the node inflammation means just like swelling dilation it is again the part of the immune system next one is the activation of the t and b lymphocytes this t and b lymphocyte which is present inside the lymph nodes they will multiply as a result antibody will be produced by the b cell the b cell it will produce the plasma cells and from the plasma cell antibody will be produced such antibody they may enter into the lymph and blood draining the node this is all about the lymph node thank you